Hello, this is Hawker Devine, and today we are going to SCP-692. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-692. Object class, safe. I forgot to close that. Special containment procedures. Each package of SCP-692 is to be stored in a sealed plastic container. Any cloths that, that excel or, or other or something coming into contact with SCP-692 is to be within one hour of incident, unless it is uh, being used for testing, in which case it is to be incinerated after testing. Security personnel for SNI testing are to be equipped with standard issue gas-based flamethrowers. Description. SCP-692 comprises of 57 factories of wiser yeast washing powder secured by the Foundation from a general store in Blank Church Republic and several households nearby. All of the packages belong to the Blank production series. Chemical testing reveals no statistically significant deviations from composition with respect to Rise and Rise Ice Washing Powder of Unaffected Production Series. When an article of clothing exposed to SCP-692 comes into uninterrupted contact at least 15 minutes long with a, a, a living multicellular organism and within and following 4 to 15 hours, within 4 to 15 hours, the article it referred to as SCP-692-1 will spontaneously animate. SCP-6921 at this stage shows the contours of the imprinting organism, although bisection of several instances of SCP-6921 have revealed that the inside of such contours contain air at ambient pressure. Through as an unknown mechanism, SCP-6921 is capable of locomotion, manipulation of objects, and at times, the creation of more articles of clothing into its mass. Furthermore, SCP-6921 with a sink Ingle nucleating item will behave as a single entity, even if there is no physical connection between the items. The mode of behavior of SCP-6921 depends on the length of exposure to the imprinting organism, longer times resulting in a higher quality of emulation. Approximately three hours of interrupted contact are sufficient for the imprinting of most mammals. SCP-6921 are unaffected by most mechanical damage and as such, Incineration is a recommended method of disposal. Addendum 6921 Test Log SCP-692 Item 0.5 meter by 0.3 meter sheet of cloth Imprinting agent A ca house cat Exposure time 5 minutes Result No effect observed even after 10 hours Cloth incinerated Item point 0.5 meter by 3.3 meter sheet of cloth. Imprinting agent, a house cat. Exposure time, 15 minutes. Result, two, after, two hours after impregnation, <laughs> imprintation, the sheet it was wrapped, has wrapped itself as of enveloping the body of, the, of a house cat of equal size and imprinting agent. Resulting SCP-692-1 showed no traces of animation. Cutting and resulting SCP-692-1 into several segments produced no adverse effects. Resulting SCP-6921 was subsequently incinerated. Item: 0.5 meter by 0.3 meter sheet of cloth. In front of the agent, a house cat. Exposure time: three hours. One and a half hours after implantation, the sheet was has wrapped itself as of enveloping in the body of a house cat of equal size to the imprinting agent. Why are you saying impregnating? Resulting SCP-692-1 has exhibited behavior consistent with that of the imprinting agent. When presented with a live mouse, resulting SCP-692-1 appeared excited and proceeded to capture and kill it. Resulting SCP-692-1 isn't adversely affected by machine washing, but doing so appears to anger it. This instance of SCP-692-1 currently resides within the Office of Researcher Redacted. Item: A standard D-class jumpsuit. Imprinting agent: D835, a 25-year-old white male. Exposure time: three hours. 
Two and a half hours after implantation, the jumpsuit appears as a field with a human body. The resulting SCP-6921 became active when approached, slamming present technician into a wall and attempting, and attempting to escape the test room. The resulting SCP-6921 failed to escape as its lack of digits didn't allow for manipulation of door mechanisms and it was subsequently incinerated by security personnel. And that was SCP-692. I know it was a short one. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye! Oh yeah, comment down below if you think I should talk about, like, manners when it comes to interacting with content creators and... VTubers outside of their like videos and stuff. Anyway, bye!